we bought a, uh, we are very young this year. Uh, we have eight freshmen, we have eight returners, and of those returners, not all of them have even run cross country the last couple of years. So it, it's a interesting mix, uh, but it, it does remind me somewhat of the group we brought in with Brian Beagle and Stetler and Sittler and Rissell when those guys were all freshmen. And we didn't have a whole lot of upper class leadership at that point. Uh, and those guys really developed nicely over the years and, and ended up winning uh, championships for us. So uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun working with this group. They're very enthusiastic. We have, we're very young, but at the same time, very talented. Coming in, we knew it was going to be a young team, but already we have, we've already bonded. And it's just we're looking forward to this season. I mean, it's going to be a young group of guys out there, but I think we'll come together and do well. It is a really unique position, you know, the past few years our teams have been pretty senior heavy and uh, so that's a really unique thing, but our freshman class coming in, coming in this year is really talented and we're really excited about that, but uh, so it's really a interesting mix, but we're really confident, you know, I think during camp week we were really coming together well and starting to gel a little bit, getting to know each other, you know, you can see the freshmen starting to loosen up around each other and around the upperclassmen, so it's really exciting. Our, our big brother program that we have, it worked out perfectly where every upperclassman got a, got a freshman as a little brother to kind of mentor here throughout the season. And uh, it's we do have a lot of talent in that freshman class. Uh, we have three very proven cross-country runners that have had a lot of success with Austin McGinley, Braden Bruning, and Mike Villada. But then in addition to that, we have guys, I think, that have huge potential, you know, and, and Ryan White and uh, with, you know, quite a few other guys that we're very excited about, and uh, we'll see how they develop, and, you know, there, there may definitely be some surprises there, and it'll be interesting to who we find in the top seven, top ten at the end of the season for us. Uh, I think that's 100% due to Coach Spence, and, you know, he has a meeting there in camp week about how, you know, Wait your time, put in the work, do the right things, live the lifestyle, do the types of things that he asks, and you know, eventually you might have to wait a year or two or three, but eventually it'll be your time to, you know, your time to be in that top group running at PSAX and regionals and hopefully nationals. It's definitely strange. I mean, coming in, you had all those group of guys who have been together for how many years, and then I came in, joined them, and it's, I guess, it's kind of the opposite. You got a bunch of guys coming in this year, and joining a few veterans. So. Yeah, we only really have one proven cross-country runner so far on the men's team, and that is uh, Matt Gillette, who's been in the top five the last couple of years at the conference meet and the last few years. So he's, he's very solid. Uh, and then after that, I think Ryan Spangler uh, ran a nice race last year at the end of the year as a red shirt in cross-country and had a great track season. And, and he's poised to, you know, in a good position to do well and uh, you know Peter Gelston coming off the steeple win at the conference championship as a freshman uh, should be right right in there with, with Spangler. And uh, it, it's going to be interesting. What they're going to need to do is to continue to develop the long run and pick up the intensity a little bit on the recovery runs as well and uh, increase the amount of, of longer intervals that I've had them doing. And I was pretty soft on those guys last year, with a lot of them being more middle distance oriented guys. And uh, in order to transition though into cross country and being some of the top runners in the conference, they're going to need to handle a greater workload this year. And that's part of the summer training. You know, we, our summer training is relatively conservative, I think, compared to other teams. But it's still we're getting used to the higher mileage, the longer runs, the, the long run that's longer than we do in track. So, and obviously the interval, the longer workouts we do, stuff like that. So I think, you know, we have some really talented guys that can go like Bernard from the 800, and, but last year he stepped up huge for the 8K at PSAX and then at regionals, the 10K at a tough course, Slippery Rock. So, I mean, I think it's, you know, we just trust coach. He knows what he's doing. He's done this for a lot of years. He's had some great teams and uh, he knows what he's doing. We're just doing what he asks of us. Definitely a lot different. I'm used to doing lower mileage and track speed workouts, now I gotta focus on the longer distances, getting the mileage in. It's just totally different mindset and strategy, but I love both of them.
and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, get that, make it to the nationals and get that All American spot, top 40. My main goal right now. Uh, of course, we want to have our best race at PSACs and then regionals. Um, you know, I, with our team being so young, it'll be interesting to see because half of our team has never even run an 8K, let alone a 10K. You know, the 10K is twice the distance they're used to in high school. So, you know, but we do have a solid group of returners that we're going to be depending on, and hopefully we'll get a few surprises out of that young class. That's definitely motivation. I mean, last year we had me and Chalander last year, but pretty much veterans, and then the rest of the guys were all new to it, and they stepped up. We got second in the conference, third in the region, so it's definitely – definitely possible that we can repeat that. I was a little surprised to see us rank so high and getting four first place votes, but uh, you know, I think it could be an accurate reflection of where the team is, uh, And you know, but we need to get it done at the conference meet, we need to get it done at the uh, regionals and, and hopefully the national champions.